Obama, John McCain, two candidates, one winner. The battle of the headlines is about to begin. First, here's the pregame analysis with Ted Stanley and Gary Beckers. Okay, Obama is up first today, Gary, and the media is looking to up the ante. That's right, Ted. McCain's been on the offensive and actually gaining in the polls, so I'd expect the media to really show its support with some glowing headlines for their man. All right, thanks, Gary. Just a reminder, tonight's action is brought to you by The Chuckle Factory. The battle starts now. Here's Glenn Beck with today's headlines. Let's start with uh, Barack Obama today. Headline number one for Barack Obama. Obama looks to change tradition in Indiana. Headline number two for Barack Obama. Obama's vacation may be private. <laughs> Why is that even a story? Headline number three. GOP's Palenti uh, praises Obama's positive message. And headline number four. Mr. Obama, welcome to the NFL. It's time for Halftime Analysis with our own Ted Stanley and Gary Vickers. I tell you, Gary, that's not bad, but it's not exactly the start Obama wanted. Yeah, definitely not, Ted. I would look for the media to really go after McCain hard here. Thanks, Gary. The second half is brought to you by the only comedy club that inexplicably is serving milk. It's milk out your nose. The second half starts now. <laughs> Once again, here's Glenn Beck. Here comes Battle of the Headlines, part two. For August 7th, John McCain, headline number one. A special gift for McCain. I don't even know what, what is that one. Headline number two, John McCain volunteers wife for topless beauty pageant. That's not even. Headline number three, Paris outduels McCain in celebrity brains. And quite possibly the worst headline I have seen yet. Old Wrinkley's Rovarian Cancer. Once again, Barack Obama comes out on top. Gee, what a freaking surprise. I mean, I just... I, I, I just, I don't... <laughs> Old Wrinkley's Rovarian Cancer. I mean, what can you not say about this guy? It's unbelievable. You yeah. can't say anything about no. Barack Obama, but you can make cancer jokes yeah. about a guy who's had yeah. to deal with cancer.